Welcome back to the channel guys. Today uh, we're heading over to Anthony's house, um, Do Work Productions, follow him on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna be putting on my rock lights. Uh, I've had them for a while, I've been talking about them in a couple previous videos, and today is finally the day. We have 20 of them to install. They are uh, LED Mercy. I got them on Amazon, and I'm gonna show you guys the quality and how bright they are. I've seen a couple videos on them, and. Uh, they're priced pretty good, but they're also really bright, and they're white only. I didn't want to get RGB. So, we're gonna do a little install how-to on that, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna turn out really good. So, let's jump right into it. Have I mentioned how much I love the interior on this truck? Like, man, this screen is awesome. The amenities, all the features it has is so cool. I'm really happy with this truck. I'm gonna do a uh, full review on this here pretty soon too. Let's see, got almost 2,000 miles on it. So, yeah, stored it most of the winter. Didn't take it out in the snow and the salt, so. She sat all winter long and here's Anthony's house. Luckily he's only uh, about three miles down the road from me. So, pretty convenient. There's the uh, Hellcat wide body that we went in the other day. And then there's his Ram. Let's try not hit anything right now. And then uh, there he is polishing his Harley. This thing's always spotless. It was very OCE on his stuff, very clean. Here's his Ram. He used to have 22 by 12s on it, but took them off. Getting ready to trade it back in for another one. Tinted taillights, might have to do that. Here's his Harley. Brand new Road Glide. And Mr. Do Work himself. All right, we got her pulled in the garage. Um, time to start uh, breaking down the uh, wheel wells, the inner plastic liners. We're gonna do three in each wheel well. Uh, I'm gonna do two underneath the front bumper, two underneath the doors right here, and then two underneath the back bumper. So 20 lights total. It should be pretty bright. Here's what we're gonna be using. So here are the, uh, the rock lights. Like I said, I got 20 of those. Got our wire. Um, got some connectors, some more connectors that uh, are soldered so they're staying, uh, they'll stay like in more tight. Got some wire loom to hide it. Here's our switch that lights up. Some tools we'll be using and that's it for the most part besides like tools to break down the uh, fenders. A step bit for drilling the hole. Probably need some zip ties too which I forgot but luckily Anthony had, has those. Oh and then we also have uh, a fuse holder uh, in case it's the fan and pops a fuse, I'd rather have that than hurt the truck. All right, to break down these fender liners, there's uh, two eight millimeter bolts right here, and then all these going or all these going around. Um, and then don't worry, your flares, if you have a Laramie, they'll stay on, they're actually uh, tacked in up here too. So that pops out. And then for the rear, it's the same thing. You have all these eight millimeter bolts, and then you have one right there and one right here. So I'm gonna get those popped out right now. I got the uh, fender liners all out. The rears are a little more of a pain than the front. But uh, once you get all the screws out and then there's a couple of little black pop rivets, um, pretty simple. So getting the holes drilled and then mounting the lights. Um, like I said, we're doing three in e each uh, fender well. I have the holes mounted or i'm sorry drilled and he's mounting the light so trying to knock it out here's one that's done still got to be wired up but there's the three lights like i said we're just doing a drill bit uh and running three holes two for the bolts and one for the wire going off the back side pretty simple all right guys so we're getting them wired up right now um these little things have solder in them that you get really hot and you put the two uh, pieces of wire in, melt it down, like I said, it solders it. So we're wiring that up right now. All the positives together and all the negatives together. All right, we got the first uh, fender liner in. You wanna try it out and we'll see how she looks. Let there be light. Heck yeah. Looks awesome. Super happy with that. Got that one all wired up. Like I said, now we got three more to go, but that looks really good. Alrighty, got all the uh, fender liners up. Got all the lights mounted in them. I don't have them all running to power yet. We ran out of time for tonight. 
So we're gonna take a little pause break and resume tomorrow. Uh, we still gotta run two rock lights on each side underneath the doors, two under the front bumper, two under the rear bumper, and then obviously uh, connect all the wires together and uh, run the switch. So got the hard part done, the, uh, the liners. That's probably the most hard part or tedious part is pulling all these uh, plastic liners down, all these bolts and clips and 3 a.m. Thanks to this guy right here, sticking her out late. Yeah. Better be getting a shout out. I got you. Follow Coffee's Garage right there. Link in description. This guy's got me all wiring his stuff up. And yeah, I didn't do anything. He just did it all. Way past my bedtime. Psych. Let's see. I'll be back here in about six and a half hours because I'm getting my derma extended too. So that should be interesting. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we made it back to my garage. Just a couple days later, ran out of some time, weather, whatever. Got the truck all detailed up, looking good. Some more changes. Made these gloss black instead of flat black. And then we're gonna finish up these lights. I got each uh, wheel well done. Um, the wires are ran up, but I haven't like connected them all yet. Like I said, still gotta do two right here, two under the back bumper, two under the front bumper, and then wire them all up and put a switch in. So the hard part was done, you know, getting in through all the uh, wheel wells and popping those out. They're kind of a pain, but yeah, I'm excited to get this uh, done and see how it turns out. All right. So I just got the two mounted underneath the doors. Um, we're on the plates on this one on the wheel wells. We didn't, um, but for these rubber plates, we need a little more distance or I'm sorry, a little more, uh, room to run the screws up where the plastic uh, fender uh, uh, wheel liners, you didn't need to run the uh, bottom plates. So, um, but yeah, set these up, uh, got some self tappers going in the bottom of the uh, cab. Make sure they're not very long. You only want to go like one or two, uh, one or two screws in um, just to get it to hold. I'll show you how <clears throat> I got them underneath right now. And I'll show you how to do the other side. So the first one I have right here, like I said, two, two self tappers right there. Another one right there. So that was a spacing I liked for light to come down right here. We get some light off the rear wheel well liners and then same for the fronts. This light will still get some light from the front wheel wells. So yeah, we'll put the uh, other side in and show you how I did it. So I'm just getting it started with the gun and then I'm gonna hand tighten them after so I don't go too far up. Screwdriver. And that's all she wrote. And they're nice. Exactly where I wanted it. All right, so we got these ones all set. Um, now I'm gonna do the front and rears, and then now, then you gotta wire them all up. So getting the hard parts done, wiring's easy, but time consuming and trying to make stuff look 
clean on an install. So, all right, just got the fronts mounted. Um, here's your radiator fan. I went into the plastic cover to that on the bottom, but be careful when you screw through this because the uh, intercooler is on the other side. So make sure your screws go straight up and not like crooked into that way because that's where your intercooler is. You do not want to go through that. But like I said, some self tappers, use the rubber mounts and uh, yeah, they're in tight. Like I said, just got to wire them up now, but just getting them all mounted for right now. So fronts are in, now the rears. All right, just got the rears mounted up. Like I said, still got to wire it all, but now they're all mounted. Two under rear bumper, two under the door, two under that door, two under front bumper, and three in each wheel well. So a total of 20 uh, white rock lights. Pretty cool. I'll show you where I just mounted the rear, but you might be wondering what that is and what that is. Well, <laughs> that's my spare tire, and that is my heat shield protecting the spare tire from uh, the exhaust. And the reason I got rid of that is because I'm throwing a big lift on this truck with some big wheels and tires. So my spare won't work. Now, if I ran this setup forever, my spare would run because my spare is a 33. That's a 33. But I know I'm going to be getting rid of my uh, my spare when I do my lift. So it made my rock lights a little easier to mount. Um, I put them right here and right here. Spare gets mounted up right here. And... Uh, you just they would they would be covered by the uh, the tire. You wouldn't have been able to see the lights. So I originally was gonna mount them to my uh, my towing package. I didn't like how that looked. Um, you could go to this rail, but like I said, the tire would be in the way. Um, also, was gonna go right here at the end of the uh, frame, and that was gonna be my next spot if I didn't take out that tire. So you have a couple different uh, choices where you want to put yours on your truck. You know, this is obviously a 2019 Ram. This applies to, you know, pretty much all Rams. And I mean, honestly, any truck, I mean, this can apply same fender liners, frames, you know, beds, whatever. So anyways, um, this is the bottom of my bed. This is just a rail, um, a support rail. And I used some self tappers again and went right in, used the rubber boot on top. And yeah, it turned out really well. So I'm excited to get this all wired up and uh, that's gonna take a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. How I do it all, um, I, like I said, I'm going to use some uh, some wire loom, run power and ground up to the battery, run a switch into my cab, and um, yeah, should be that easy. Well, fingers crossed. All right, guys, now to the uh, wiring stage. Uh, we're going through the cab, and you see that uh, plastic piece right there, the little oval shape? That's what we're drilling through. Let's see if I can give you a better angle of it. Yep, we'll drill through that. You can run some wires through, comes through your firewall, come in, and then uh, this little piece is where I'm running it, <clears throat> right next to your parking brake. You have this, and it pops right down. Now, if you have a RAM box, um, this is where your RAM box switch is. And anyways, this pops right down, and I drilled through this. It's a three-quarter inch hole. Um, I use one of these bits, goes right through, and uh, like I said, you go down to the three-quarter inch hole. And it's simple as that. So wiring continued. All right, guys, so it's been hard to show everything with wiring and uh, videoing, but uh, basically we have the whole right side of the truck um, coming across here with some of the wire loom. Uh, it's right here. The front rock lights right here. These fenders right here. And these wires are coming up. We're gonna splice them all into one. I have the, uh, the switch already wired up right here. Then going to the battery terminal. Um, and then, like I said, that goes inside the truck. Wires coming out underneath the, uh, the footwell. Um, going through the... Um, why can't I think of the word right now? But uh, firewall. And then going to the back of the switch. So, like I said, it's been hard to, to show every piece of wire going on. But been crimping them all together. I've uh, been using the solder to put them together. Alrighty, just got the switch wired up. I don't have it mounted yet, just to make sure for when the LEDs are, but that's off. That'll be on. A little white halo ring. On, off. Pretty cool. Alright, so we just finished it up. Got the last wires in. Zip tied down. Moment of truth. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Man, 20 white rock lights, LED Mercy, off Amazon. I have about, I think, $180 total in lights. 
No, I lied. $150 total on lights. Um, and then probably another 50 to 70 bucks in wiring and uh, zip ties and all that other stuff. So for what? Right around $200, you can have this. Man, I am stoked. i turn the light off and uh, show you how good it looks. <laughs> Perfect light all the way around. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy with how it looks. This is about, I don't know, we did a couple hours a day, a couple hours last night, and then a couple hours the first night. So about three days into it, but probably two to three hours each day. Oh, I can't tell you how pumped I am. This is finally done. I've had these lights now for like two months and I've been just kicking around when to install them. I knew it would take a while and man, I'm so happy with how it turned out. These are definitely worth the money, definitely worth the time. You know, like I said, just over $200 to get this look. From what I've been told, you're allowed to drive on with these um, as long as they're not red or blue, so you can run white. But I mean, if a cop wants to be a jerk, then you know he can give you a ticket for this. But from what I've been told, you can drive around with these on at night. But don't take it from me. You know, look up your local laws. I can't get over how bright it is. Like, it's awesome. These LED Mercy Rock lights, by the way, I'm not paid to make this video. Um, I did some research on them. These seem to be the best for the price. And uh, like I said, I think I paid $100 for 12 rock lights. And then I bought another eight rock lights, I believe for 50 or 60. So, I mean, I'm bad at math, but wait, 150, 160 bucks, probably 40 or 50 in wires and cutters and um, crimp tools and those little solder things. Those solder things are awesome. But uh, yeah, I'm so pumped. They're so white. They're so bright. They're not yellow. Um, they're not dull. It's, uh, it's a really solid, bright light. Like I said, we'll see how long the longevity is, but I mean, that is, that is bright. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this to your Rams, your Chevys, your Fords, whatever it may be. You can go off my uh, my install video, pretty much the same types of metal and, and drilling up into fender wells and uh, your cab and whatnot on, on every model. And uh, highly, highly recommend this for around 200 bucks or less, you can get this done. You don't have to buy the expensive rock lights or the kits, the RGBs, whatever, three, four, five hundred dollars from, I think Aurora's is pretty expensive. But uh, yeah, highly recommend these LED Mercy lights. Got them on Amazon. They came in two days. It was awesome. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps out. Almost to 1,000 subscribers. That's uh, that's huge for me. That's when I can get monetized. Please, please, please help with that. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. I'm really excited with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. So take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice.